once again YouTube and welcome to another haul video with the, the domain. This is a very interesting experience right now. We are currently in, well I'm currently in my parents' motorhome in the middle of the English countryside and we're heading to a small town outside of Manchester to pick up the next Halo Mega Blocks haul. And I say Halo Mega Blocks because it's all just old school sets, all old articulation figures. It's been a couple of years since we've gone and picked up one of these hauls. Was the last one in Burnley? Oh yeah, there was a big one in Chester. We did two big hauls when I was back home two years ago. One of them was a big figure haul, and then one of them was like an absolutely massive just... Well, yeah, one of them was very close to our house, wasn't it? Yeah. And I found this listing on Facebook Marketplace. It's pretty much the only place to go uh, to find stuff nowadays. It is a monster haul with a pelican, a red hornet, a falcon. It's got all the good stuff. My parents, yeah, they have this motorhome. Mom's driving. But we're staying in a cricket club overnight. I'm gonna be camping. And we just thought it would be a great excuse to get out into the countryside and just enjoy England. It's, it's the most beautiful country, honestly. So we've gone to an ATM in a place called Burnley, which is funny because that is the location of the very first Bloxfest, Mega Blocks gaming convention that we ran in 2013. Yeah, 2013. So been a while since I was there. We got some cash and now we're gonna go find this deal. Let's check it out. Yay. 1.3 miles until the hall. I feel like it's definitely gonna be from a, a farm. What kind of person collects Halo Mega Blocks here? There's nothing. Well, I know, well, where's he? Where's he getting it from? People live in houses. Number five, Thomas Street, white BMW outside. Whoa! It's not gonna turn down there. All right, we've made it as far as we can go. We got it. Whoa! Whoa. It's a nice big box, isn't it? I said free box. There it is. He was stunned to know that not only did I have a YouTube channel doing this, I also ran a convention for this like right down the road. In Burnley, like, like the woman said. In this box, we've got so much. Look at that. And we'll break it all down later. But obviously the main two things are the Falcon and the Pelican. That is really That's nice. Amazing. And this bag of figures, which there's some in here that people are going to be really excited about particularly the anniversary ODST and what do we what else do we have yeah I, he's got all of the anniversary figures which are really nice happy to have them again there should be some flood in here uh, I see a flood head so we're on the right direction yeah really exciting all and some really nice figures some pop and swaps as well so I'm gonna have to fix those but uh yeah he said he just used to collect back in the day, but then they stopped selling it in England and he stopped collecting. So just rings home again, like we need to just bring distribution back and the collectors will come back as well. The Falcon's notorious for this uh, literally coming apart into two pieces. When I was doing a live stream, I was trying to fix this and it snapped and I cut my finger open. <laughs> All right, great haul. Let's wrap this up and get on the road. Hang on. We're signing off. With the, what's this? Falcon. We're signing off with the Falcon. Oh, the Falcon. Mm. Even though it's not the end of the video yet, but. <laughs> well, we know. No, we said she didn't indicate, she didn't indicate. <laughs> Look at that bridge. Classic English countryside, that. <laughs> you simply do not get more British than camping in a cricket club. <laughs> Okay, I have got this huge box 
There's so much in here, so much I'm excited about. I'm gonna try and go through this bit by bit. Uh, yeah. First of all, we've got half a falcon. Uh, yeah, we, we've got the whole falcon. And some of this stuff is missing uh, some pieces. Uh, and some pieces have been replaced. But luckily for me, I have a crazy collection of spare pieces, like a, a beautiful armory of... Uh, of replacement parts, so most of that won't be an issue for me. Yeah, we've got this falcon. I think it's gonna be like mostly complete. The main things that I'm hoping are still on are the main chain guns. They would be hard to replace. And also these fins at the back, they are very hard to find uh, replacements of because this green is really only producing a couple of things, mainly just the falcon. So you are looking to have to get replacement falcon pieces, which were very difficult to do. But everything looks in, in pretty good condition even the stickers are still on. Talking to the guy, he was a big Halo fan. Uh, he treasured his uh, his Halo collection, like really took care of it. There's no dust on them at all, so he must have cleaned them very regularly. I wanted to buy everything, but he was holding on to two Warthogs. He said they were his prized possessions and he wouldn't part with those, so fair play to him. Yeah, this Falcon looks good. I like a collector that really takes care of his pieces. Then we've got, ooh a brute chopper and this is also one of those sets i'm like all of these vehicles i have bought just countless of in the past honestly the number of choppers that have passed through my personal collection over the years especially i would always buy and sell for blocks fest countless like actually countless so it's really cool to see a 100 complete chopper you don't usually see this it's often missing the purple fins at the bottom or the ones on the back or maybe some of the cannons this is uh really good conditions so bravo also i want to give a quick shout out to the view that i've got going on right now this is quite something <laughs> i wish i could position the camera that way uh may maybe i could maybe i'll switch up the camera in a little bit but yeah we got a chopper and a falcon and you can actually see an example on this falcon of how he's replaced a piece but that's again not a real issue to me and any pieces either i'll try and replace because i do have uh, at least at least one falcon in just rubble in uh, in my collection so i'll try and replace it if i can't replace it there's still other options you can see with the uh, pelican here it's got a lot of red replaced pieces they are no problem at all to replace i have a billion uh, of these green pieces from pelicans and warthogs and all sorts of things gremlins and and, and mongoose mongai yeah there's been a lot of things i've replaced over the years so it shouldn't be an issue at all yeah you can see even on the bottom here there's a load of pieces that have been replaced mainly just this engine for some reason but it's nice to see even the fold down walkway is in order and all of these pieces these are quite hard to replace as well these little like fins yeah oh it's missing this light he also he didn't include any spare pieces which i thought he would but it's mainly just what you know what you see is what you get i thought there would be a bag of spare pieces but there isn't ah uh, yeah there's see we're, we're finding them now there's the the chain gun for the front of the falcon and a few other falcon strips that goes on the side so we're probably gonna have most of it the pelican though it's in really good condition there's a silver replacement piece there no problem really looking forward to getting that operational you know and then it's another one it's like how many pelicans have passed through my collection over the years Ah, countless, countless. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, we got a falcon, we got a chopper, we got a pelican. We're off to a very good start. And then, oh yes. All right, next up, we've got some smaller items. Uh, you love to see one of these original ghosts. This is not the very first ghost. The first one was super clunky. This is way more streamlined, way more smoothed off edges. Great to see, and I hope it's all there. I think it probably is. I mean, we've already got this uh, extra wing here. And we've got an Arctic drop pod, a really iconic part of like the original... Uh, uh, collectible Halo Mega Block series. I remember one of my first sets that I got was the original drop pod. That first drop pod was one of the uh, first sets that I got and I was just unbelievably impressed with. A UNSC turret, really great to see. Oh no, a Covenant Shield and the original UNSC turret, the very first Halo Mega Block set ever made. Yeah, it was on the, the back of every packaging to begin with and <laughs> That's funny. I was just about to say it's really weak, and as I was saying it, it fell apart, so totally just emphasize how weak it is. Oh no. Yeah, all right. Original turret. The Red Hornet. Oh, in all of its glory. Everybody always asks me, you know, uh, my the most common questions on my channel. Look at that sun, wow. 
The most common questions on my channel are always, what's your favorite figure? What's your favorite vehicle? I guess, what's your favorite set? My favorite vehicle has always been and will always be this red Hornet. I just think the colors are fantastic. The way the plastic like blends in all these different darker shades of red and then the rotating turbines, stickers. It's, it's a flawless vehicle, like it really is. And even the lights and sounds Hornet and even the newer green Hornet, the shine comparison to this thing. The slidable cockpit window, oh, it's, it's phenomenal. I, I really love this. So I'm gonna keep this red Hornet in my collection for sure. It's even got the little red turret on the front it's a 10 out of 10 vehicle will always be my favorite and with that red hornet comes another really iconic piece of halo mega blocks the original covenant watchtower it's just incredible the stickers do make it lose some points but there is some nice printed detailing oh well it's not really printed detail it's more just different colors on one set piece the whole design is gorgeous this blue rod that runs up makes it feel like an actual gravity well all of the purple covenant purple is amazing i think i'm uh, team banished red at this point but covenant purple is still great just <laughs> Just put it on there. <laughs> Can't really see me anymore. All right, let's 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 clear some of this out so I can show you the final pieces because I've been saving the best till last here. You may have noticed something while I was uh, showing inside this tub that uh, really piqued your interest and it is something very exciting. This is now one of the most expensive sets on the internet in second market value because it includes the flood and the flood are now, uh, yeah, super expensive to buy flood. It is flood gate and considering the flood traxxas tower was just announced i think it's a pretty appropriate time to get this and it also has two crates on top with just a stack of weapons inside i need to show you guys this oh yeah loads of painted weapons too and we do have a second crate there. I wonder what's inside. Oh yeah, a couple of UNSC weapons, not bad. Yeah, the Floodgate is one of the only campaign specific large sets alongside things like AA gun, I guess. The Assault on High Ground is a multiplayer map. It's just amazing. And also amazing for scenery, amazing for dioramas. And it's definitely gonna be used in my upcoming Flood diorama. And it comes with this yellow Floodgate car. <laughs> Uh, one of the absolute OGs. And the last vehicle for today is something uh, pretty iconic. It's actually something we never really see in secondhand markets anymore. I never see it on sale on eBay. I think probably because it wasn't widely distributed to begin with. It's the UNSC Gremlin. So long since I've seen one of these in such good condition. I'm really, really happy to get hold of this. Especially like, I don't know, like I said, you, you don't see Gremlins anymore. So really nice. And a, a pretty rare Halo Wars vehicle, something that uh, maybe Mega will redo one day. I'm not sure. But a great end to this haul. We got a Falcon, Chopper, Gremlin, Watch, Tower, Pelican, Hornet, Floodgate, a couple of turrets, a ghost, and obviously the figures. In this beautiful bag, we have all the figures you could ever want. All the old articulation figures anyway. Let's pull them out carefully. Whoa. And check out the haul. Look at that. I mean, where do we begin here? We got so many to talk about. First of all, it's a really nice surprise that I can see a few of these guys from one of the original 10th anniversary character packs. Very rare that you see these. And I can see a green flame marine from that character pack too. I imagine the whole range is gonna be there. There's that CQB from the character pack. Another really interesting thing is one, two, three, four, Active Camo Flame Marines, what? Four of them, these are from the Series 2 blind bag. Series 2, so they are super rare, very hard to get hold of. Oh man, that's that's actually seriously cool. I had no idea they were in there. It's gonna be interesting to see, cause like I can already see a lot of the figures that come with the sets and the vehicles that I just showed off. Like for example, the Red Pilot comes with the Red Hornet. But there's gonna be some things in here that uh, are not actually with any of the sets we opened today. For example, this Brute, oh what? What did he do here? Is this like a jump pack? Two Arctic Flame Marines. This Spartan and uh, Pilot. Holy Hayabusas. We've got a red and a pink. There it is, boys. Oh, oh no. <laughs> and there it goes. Now, this is a flood combat form, and it's a lot better than that. Like, this is definitely, in my opinion, the best flood combat form they made. The level of dark washes that run around his skin gives a really good 3D element to the figure. So that's three Hayabusas so far. There might be another one. The man clearly liked his flame marines that's for sure the jackal that comes with the red hornet it's just such a good set it's it's an absolutely legendary set silver cqb silver spartan we've got oh <laughs> 
That's the ODST from the sniper drop pod, but his head's been pop and swapped. Cat came with the Falcon, of course. Okay, another flood head there. I think the floodgate comes with two flood. A very long blonde hair. <laughs> oh, no, the brute stuck to the hair. There it is. There's the pop and swap. Yeah, we got to put that head back on the ODST. Also, the large scale shotgun there. Guys, I'm super impressed with this. Uh, most of it was predictable from the sets we got, but we do have nice extras like this brute. So thanks as always for all your support. As always, Always you stay awesome, you stay safe out there, folks. And the one, two, three, four Flame Marines, beautiful, are signing off.